In Jackson, Mississippi, there's a museum dedicated to showcasing Muslim culture. My name is Okola Rashid, and I am the co-founder and executive director of the International Museum of Muslim Cultures, America's first Islamic history and culture museum. So the Muslim community in Jackson, which is uh, relatively small, actually decided to get a group uh, together and uh, you know, begin to plan a companion exhibit called Islamic Moorish Spain, its legacy to Europe in the West. We discovered as part of this process that uh, there is not uh, a single institution in the country that focuses on Islamic history and culture. Our major exhibit is called The Legacy of Timbuktu, which is uh, an exhibit around the uh, rediscovery of ancient documents, manuscripts that uh, actually, actually establishes the great scholarship, great universities, great learning, great wealth building and empire building of West Africa. But there's another exhibition, of course, and that is our uh, more Spain exhibition. Two thirds of the enslaved Africans that were brought to the Americas were Muslim. So part of the social fabric of America is to understand that Muslims are a part of what actually created America. Really what it's trying to do is to enlighten people about the history of Africa, the history of Mississippi, the history of Islam, and to show how all of those are connected. Because not a lot of folks in the United States know that Islam is part of America's history. Muslims were, you know, in the U.S. long before we even had a constitution. If you count all of the enslaved Africans who were, uh, who were Muslim but not allowed to practice their faith, um, they probably equaled many of what we would consider practicing Christians uh, at that time. Forbidden from practicing their faith, they found secret ways to keep Islam alive. Calling the faithful to prayer here in Mississippi is Abdul Rashid. He believes that one way they achieved this was through music. If you ever went to a Baptist church, then you can hear this in a Baptist church. The whole congregation is singing, you know. I love the Lord, he heard my cry. That uh, original blues sound actually came from the Muslim call to prayer. So one of the things that the museum is doing is helping to counteract some of these negative stereotypes by showing that Islam means different things to different people, just like any religion does. 